So One UI 4.0 brings quite a few interesting features, but I'm going to talk about the ones that I think are really important. First, when you set up a wallpaper, One UI 4 will now let you choose a color scheme that gels well with that wallpaper. With this, the most basic controls on your phone change their color, including some stock apps like Calculator and Messages. Notifications too get a dark theme, which I think looks really good. Next, with One UI 4, Samsung cameras will be able to detect pet faces. So let's say you've got a dog or a cat at home and you want to use portrait mode on them, the camera will detect their face and accordingly separate the background. Earlier, this could only work on human faces, but I'm super glad that it now works on pets as well. And you can see that if I go into gallery, I can change background effects and I can pretty much apply all the effects that you could otherwise with human faces. So I think this is really good. Next, they've also made it a lot easier to find the right widget. You can now get a very easy to scan list of widgets grouped by the app. So if you're looking for WhatsApp widget, you can either just search here or you could quickly scroll down to W, expand here to access the WhatsApp widgets that are available. So earlier, the share panel used to be quite busy with all the apps showing up. So it was very difficult to find out which app you want to use. But now with One UI 4, you can actually customize that. So when you tap share, go all the way to the right to more. And then on the top right corner, you'll see an edit icon and you can now favorite your apps. So as you tap them, for example, Instagram, WhatsApp, email, anything that you think is more important than anything else, you use those. And then next time when you hit share, only those would come up front and everything else would be inside more. And guys, before we hop on to the next one, I'll be doing a couple of more interesting videos on One UI 4. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification icon. All right, now let's move on. Now, in earlier One UI versions, you will not get the option to open apps in split screen for all of the apps. For example, on Instagram, you wouldn't see open in split screen, but for gallery, you would see it. And let's say I go into um, Alexa. Yeah, so here again, you don't see those options. But with One UI 4, you can actually force open apps in split screen. So if you go into settings, advanced labs, and this setting right here, multi window for all apps, if you turn that on, now it doesn't matter which app you're in, you would be able to open it in split screen view. So it's again an experimental feature. So there might be bugs with it. But hey, it's here now and for you to use. Here's a really good one. One UI 4 now has a solution that allows you to increase your battery's lifespan. So if you go into device care settings, then into battery, you'll be able to limit charging all the way up to only 85%. And that is really helpful. It's a pretty popular technique to increase the lifespan of your battery. And that way, your smartphone just lasts you for a longer number of years. And who wouldn't want that? Okay, next. At night, usually bedtime, I would dim my screen all the way down, but sometimes that would not be enough. And without installing third party apps, there was no way to go further down. But One UI 4 brings something called as extra dim, which is not available in your existing, you know, tray of settings, but you'll have to pull that out and then you can start using it. And what that essentially does is it lowers your screen by an extra few nits and lets you lower the brightness than you could ever do with any previous One UI versions. And if you tap on extra dim into details, you can actually increase the intensity of that dimness and go really, really dark. Coming to the next one, I've always been a fan of always on display as a feature and I would generally use it to know if I have a notification or not. But now there's a setting wherein the always on display would only turn on when you get a notification, which means technically I don't always need to have always on display turned on. And you know, with this setting turned on, you can actually save about four to 6% of your battery life on a daily basis, as compared to let's say your always on display was set to always on. That I think is a huge benefit. There's also an update to Bixby routines. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's an automation tool for your Samsung smartphone. It's a fantastic thing. I'll leave a video over here at the top right corner. So do check it out after this video. You can now create a routine based on two new if conditions. One, a specific keyword that comes to you as a notification. And next, during call with a you know specific caller or with any call, you can now create that as a condition. And a few new updates in the then section where you actually program your results. First, in connections, you can connect or disconnect to a specific Bluetooth device. Secondly, if you go into advanced, you'll see you can now add wait times before performing certain actions. And that lets you just you know make more complex and intelligent routines. Now, honestly, I haven't really thought of use cases wherein I can use these conditions in routines, but I'll think of some 
and see how it really pans out. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell notification icon. That way the video comes out, you know it first. And lastly, a very useful integration that Samsung has had with their keyboard is that they're now powered by Grammarly. So if you go into Samsung settings, go into select third party content to use, there's Grammarly as an option, which is turned off by default and you can turn it on. And that way, you know, if you're writing emails or any professional message, it's gonna help you and it'll recognize whatever is wrong with it and correct it for you. And that's pretty much it guys. I mean, there are quite a few more updates and features that have come with One UI 4, but these are the ones that I found really helpful, useful for myself and I thought I'll share with you guys. All right, that's it guys. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.